The restaurant business in Kenya has grown tremendously over the years. Kenyan diners know exactly where to get what they want. But we are here to make it easier for you to locate the best restaurants in Kenya. This is Talking to Al Mumin, Kenya's premier TV show that is here to help you locate the best restaurants in Kenya. I'm Leangari and today we are at the Amica restaurant. Located along Peponi Road on Getaduri Gardens and incepted in the year 2006, the restaurant is one of the very few joints that offer authentically African dishes. We spoke to the proprietor. Pamela, let's begin by you telling us the meaning of a mica. Um, a mica is a Luya word and it actually refers to the traditional cooking area or the traditional cooking stove where you have the three stones and then you know the pot sits on it and traditionally you would find that firewood was used to to light up that stove and I thought that name was um, appropriate because that's how we cook our food at a Maika restaurant. So what exactly drove you to begin this enterprise that is gradually becoming a household name? While I was in employment I had the opportunity to travel a lot and one thing I realized is that most people are very passionate and proud of what their country has to offer in terms of cuisine. Unfortunately then in Kenya, um, there, were, there were very few places you would be able to go and feel comfortable having a, a traditional meal or so to speak. And so I thought instead of uh, waiting and hoping somebody else would, would do it, why can't I do it? That's how Amaika was born. When we started uh, in the year 2006, I was uh, serving Western Kenya cuisine. But over the years, because of the interest that people have demonstrated, I realized that when somebody is coming into Amaika to have a meal, it serves very well if you're able to present um, what Kenya has to offer rather than just a smaller sector or a smaller region of the country. And that's what has driven us to, into now being able to serve authentic Kenyan cuisine, which is representative of our diverse culture as a country. I see the furniture is really, really unique and I'm just wondering why these particular designs you have here? Uh, one thing about the decor, the furniture, and even the style of our cooking and the cuisine itself. What I decided to do is, because I think for a long time, you will agree with me, a lot of Kenyans always, and I think it's still there a little bit, they think that anything foreign, anything imported, really stands out. And I, I just wanted to be able to demonstrate to Kenyans that, look, we have so much going for us locally and we never even look at it. Um, and that's why you'll notice even the chandeliers we've used, you know, are just made from local calabashes that no one even thinks about. The furniture is made from local timber and just given a twist to give it that fine finish. You know, the way we even present our food, we use the clay earthen pots, which we also use in cooking. So everything about Amaika is local. Um, you're talking about food and of course for many Kenyans and, and many other people who come to visit Kenya, the first question is um, how much do I have to spend for a meal? And my next question will be how, ma how does the menu price range look like? If you're looking at an a la carte um, dish, the average is about 8, the lower figure is 850 for a main course and the most expensive dish is 1200. Yeah, so I think it's, it's affordable. So when we were driving in, I noticed the environment is very, very quiet and it's not as crowded as what other restaurants usually opt to have. Um, why this particular environment? The reason why we, we looked out, because of course we have other branches, but the reason why we looked out for this area is because apart from the serene environment, we needed space because there's, there's a lot that we plan to do apart from what you see. Uh, we basically needed space to be able to grow the concept from what we are doing and be able to offer people a cultural dining experience. That's, that's the sort of product we are developing. If you talk about um, going out and, and dining out and people looking for where to eat, the options are many. 
But one thing that has really um, made America stand the test of time is because of the unique concept that we are trying to push. And anybody who's coming in and wants to know what Kenyan people eat, they definitely choose to come to America. Anybody, be it vegetarian, be it people who are health conscious, you know, they, there's always something for everyone. And number two, I think the style of cooking, because most of the food served at America is cooked without oil. So that's one very unique, outstanding point about the restaurant. When you come in, then you're sure you're eating healthy, for sure. In keeping with its theme, a mica decor creates an ambiance that reflects that traditional environment, but with a contemporary look in line with its urban settings. The colors used are warm shades of gold, terracotta, and burnt amber with accents of black. Clay pots are a prominent decorative feature, complementing the wrought iron furniture in the lounge and dining areas. Hand-painted beads add some unique detail to the furniture, linen, and fittings. Potted plants enhance the outdoor experience while the two lounge areas provide a cozy setting for that quiet private chat. Really, really sweet. This passion juice is working for me. It's really, really hot. And now let's go to the kitchen and see what magic happens there. Hi, how are you? Welcome. Thank you for having okay, me. Okay, have this. All right, Judy, tell us a bit about your menu. We do smoked fish, we do smoked beef, uh, fresh fish, that is from Nyasa part of it. Then we do uh, Wimbi Ugali, that is millet, sorghum, and cassava mixed together. And then we do, uh, we do sweet potato, then we do matoke, mm -hmm. that is basically from Uganda and Kisi. Then Vegetables, we do also traditional vegetables. Mm -hmm. We have managu, that is basically from, I think from coastal, mm -hmm. they call it mnavu. And then we, we do kunde, and then we do saga, that is sageti, so I call them sageti. <laughs> and then we do mchicha, that is from kikuyu, mm -hmm. central part. And then we have um, pumpkin leaves, basically from western Kenya. Sounds like you have a lot of healthy foods. Now you know in Kenya we, there's been the issue of GMO foods and people have been worried about the kind of food they're eating. Mm -hmm. um, what can you say about the kind of food you, you, you serve here? Might it be also GMO or are you guys are playing safe? No, we don't do GMO at all. Mm -hmm. Our food is basically traditional and very nutritious. Most of it is done through steaming. Boiling and steaming is our main, our main um, process like now let me put it the smoked beef after smoking you will wash it thoroughly then you boil it in a pot i think we do most of our cooking in boiling in pots mm -hmm. so this is the smoked beef we are boiling mm -hmm. so after boiling you will cut your tomatoes as usual mm -hmm. onions then you put inside so right now we are in the kitchen and when you get to look at this particular kitchen you get to have that African feel and right now we are about to try and prepare something small with Judy and I'm waiting for her. Oh she's right. here. Thank you Judy. Right, so okay. So why exactly are we removing this part? We are removing the blackens. The blackens, yeah. okay. I'll help you with this. We're about done with cutting the tomatoes right now and I'm asking you to wait a little bit longer and see exactly what dish will come out from this work we've done here today with Judy. Stay tuned. I'm really happy that we got to give you a feel of the Omaika restaurant. I mean, the food is amazing. And if I can just put it in few words, this place is 
beautiful. Now, I hope that you will make a point of coming to the Omaika restaurant. Bring your family member, your loved one, your special someone. And for directions to the Omaika restaurant, you can visit the website showing on your screen and make a point of visiting the Omaika restaurant. My name is Leangare. This has been Talking to a Woman. Until next time, goodbye.